Hello friends, Namaskar Dosto and a special thanks to members who have recently joined my channel. And this is a uh, edition of Commodity Market with SD and I'm SD Shanundadar, a multi-asset trading and investment specialist. Aap logo ko dikh raha ki, uh, it's a performance of silver. Silver has done awesome. It is up 7.6%. Uh, Let me take you to the direct the screen if we look, go and take a look at the en macro micro and under en macro micro i'm going to commodities under commodities i'm selecting one week performance and you can see exactly the picture that was behind me silver is up 7.6 percent hum log jo silver exchange traded fund mein position lene ki baat kiye Future may long key, all those trades have been very, very much profitable. Other than that, we have also taken long on some of the metals. We are long on gold. Who trades the broadly overall done well? Rather, jo achha nahi kiya this week and it has been going up, who has soft commodities like cocoa, orange juice, cotton. Ye sare commodities, jo hai, agricultural commodities, they did not do well. Whereas metal, some part of energy, say crude oil, and they have broadly done very well. So, is ke saath saath hum log uh, chale jayenge chart pe aur mein dikhata hu what, the, what kind of trades I'm thinking about. And is ke liye I'll use my fountain of gold setup, jo indicators mein if you have been, agar aapko access diya gaya hai, you will find it under invite only section. Under invite only section, there, there will be all these indicators with you. And to create the fountain of gold setup, I need the SD Rainbow Wave version 1. Or in that, I am going to select the commodities. Because we are going to commodity analysis. Karne wale hai. And in RSI X. So these two is going to create the fountain of gold setup. So first one, we are going to take a look at lead. Lead may come back the kata. We are, mene bola, I'm not very much interested in it because it's a contra trade. I'll wait uh, for the lead to break to the long term uh, line, but this was a good opportunity to go long. Rather, mera focus tha on towards aluminium or and zinc. And in sub ke liye mein 125 minutes chart ka istamal karta hoon. Aur us mein exit a chuka hai aluminium mein. Kyunki background yellow ke saath I do the full exit. This is the background yellow. We had an awesome ride in aluminium. Ye rahe. Aluminium mein hum log long kiye the when aluminium was 209, 210, crossing 212, 13. So it was an awesome run. Now, iska exit to up, matlab, I'll do that. What you will do, your choice. I'll, I have exited. Now, I'll wait for this breakout to happen. Crossing up, matlab, 224 cross ho gaya, 225 per sustain kar ra. I'll take the, once again, I'll take some positions. And for this, I would like the short term price action to turn bullish. SD Rainbow Wave version 1 price action to turn first bullish along with short term momentum agar bullish hua tab jaake main buy support trade karunga overall mera outlook bullish hi hai main abhi actually not i'm not thinking about bearish trades zinc mein we have booked profit last day se pehle hi exit ho gaya tha 50% 235 ke area this is the mountain top resistance in daily chart. Our daily chart, a daily chart is my uh, upper time frame preferable. Or usme, uh, this is the resistance level. Pe jane ke baad, I did a 50% profit book. And I'm waiting still. I'm considering whether I should exit the 150 hour position. Yahan pe correction to dikhi raha hai. I'm really serious considering baki jo aadha uska bhi aur 30% nikal jate hain. Aur background jab yellow ho jayega, then I'll do the full exit. Ek bar exit ke baad, fir se re-entry ka mauka mila tha, but lag raha hai, it is not really working out. Ye jo crossover chahiye tha, it did not work out in the zinc. And uh, better to uh, wait it out in the zinc and see how it goes. Next, hum log ja rahe hain ki uh, copper, 
copper is uh, i'm bullish it has reached the all the major targets and now it is in a mixed zone it is bullish uh, i'm position hai mera but overall jo main highlight karna chahta hu ki is copper we will have to now since all the major resistances are taken out in 125 i'm looking at the upper time frame for to find the key resistances so copper is sustaining above 810 and once it sustains there are no major resistance until this triple top area around say 830 830 se leke 840 and main jo resistance hai, this is this flat zone 856 so i don't think copper will be ready to immediately break above 856 i'm expecting a consolidation once it reaches the 830 area or it reaches the 856. So copper may 125 minutes may abhita koi major exit signal nahi mila. Short term momentum jab bearish ho jayega in copper. I'll prefer to partially exit the copper positions. Next is uh, we are looking at uh, the gold chart. Gold ke liye may I'll refer to the international chart international chart ke upar i give importance and right now i'm trading gold based on daily chart not 125 minutes Mena, coffee time se, since 2060 was broken and it is steadily moving higher abhi tak ek bhi exit nahi mila i'm dikh raha hai ki momentum thoda flattish ho raha hai thoda divergence dikh raha hai but nothing significant which is asking to exit uh, from the gold trade so as per the pyramiding rule Every time that is breaking higher, we can add some position. Us pyramiding rule ke hisab se position build kar raha Once I get the red caps, I'll consider an exit to the tune of 30%. Because I think gold or bullish hai, or bullish hone ka possibility hai. I'll exit 30, 35% and then I'll wait for the re-entry opportunity. Re-entry opportunity means that red caps ke baad full green candle, as a full green candle, these are good opportunities to re-entry. So gold mera bullish outlook barkarar. There is no change in the outlook. Silver is also similar. Silver mein bahut time pehle se ETF, uh, future in sab ka baat kar raha So the trade has been very profitable. Isko bhi mein daily chart ke hisab se follow kar raha But this one has reached a very important level. If we bring the silver chart. Silver has reached, price-wise has reached a very, very important level. Um, it can consolidate here definitely. 125 minutes may we'll be able to see some weakness. But overall, silver is bullish. And there is a high probability, very, very high probability that this resistance that is blue line is ultimately going to give up. So, here we can reduce uh, the future's exposure thoda bahut, because exchange traded fund may be my position. Hai. So, futures are better for short term entry and exit. So, we had a very good run. Se break ke baad, we had an awesome run in silver. So, uh, and I still think it will go up, but in terms of risk reward, fresh entry to bantani, but future may. Thoda profit booking zarur banta hai. We will be able to re-enter again as per jaise yahan pe dikhe, short term momentum bearish ho chuka hai. We are seeing price action jo flattish, exitish. So fir se jab mauka milega with short term trend bullish and price action bullish, hum log enter kar paayenge. So in the tune of 30%, only derivative side, nothing with the exchange traded fund exchange traded fund will have to look for and the daily or the weekly chart both are still bullish there is no reason to exit the exchange traded fund here gold silver ke baad uh just me may nil hokey broadly bat hound that is the crude oil crude oil i'm bullish but yeh jahan pe reach hone ke baad jay correction diya tha this was the candle. This is the candle where I exited. I This candle I did not enter and broadly I'm nil right now. But I'm bullish. I'm bullish on uh, this uh, WTI crude oil. There are other ways uh, to go long. So I've gone for exchange traded fund in crude oil and waiting for this major break in case of futures. 
फ्यूचर्स के लिए मैं थोड़ा और कॉन्विंसिंग ब्रेक ये देखिए मेरा अलर्ट लगा हुआ है आई एम वेटिंग फॉर मोर कॉन्विंसिंग ब्रेक विच कैन डेफिनेटली कम दिस वीक देर आर टू मेजर डेटा एंड इवेंट्स वन इज यूएस इन्फ्लेशन विच इज टूमोरो आई एम गोइंग टू होल्ड माई सेशन विद सी सी एम टी टू स्टूडेंट्स एंड द डे आफ्टर टूमोरो इज यूरोपियन सेंट्रल बैंक मीटिंग so crude oil can do something uh if going ahead and very likely i'm thinking more on the bullish side a uh, breakout chahiye too much consolidation probability bahut zyada hai yahan pe buy trade win probability is pretty on the lower side last and final one on the commodity uh later on baki future video mein hum log aur bhi commodities cover karenge about our opportunities but currently we are covering the indian counters only so daily chart it's once again natural gas in g1 consolidation mode a full green candle but it is too early to take any kind of position indian natural gas similar story consolidation consolidation uh so let's one unless the background turning green i'm not even thinking about doing any contra buy trade as well or sell ke liye i previous sells did not work out when probability is low so currently i'm thinking about no trade in natural gas but uh, if you are operating in lower time frames say 15 minutes please know that trades can come i'm talking about only my time frame my operating time frames as my upper time frame daily is very much in range i'm not interested in taking a trade in 125 minutes because yahan pe aur bhi behtar opportunity the metal segment mein and jahan pe hum logo ka kamai aa chuka hai so that's it for friends thank you so much this video obviously will be released for the members first and later on it will be released for the public thank you for watching all the best from my side and once again happy trading